I just discussed how my calculation of SAP 500 intrinsic value is 3000 and there was a great comment how the Dino valuation, the modern, come with a much higher intrinsic valuation. And the key differences are the risk-free rate, his is 4.58, mine is a required return of 10%. Then he has that on stocks 9%, but he still gets to an intrinsic value of 5,261 on P ratios of 20. My idea is let's go to historical average of 15. The index is overvalued, but just 11%, I say by 50%. The difference is also there in the growth rate of the expected earnings going forward. He sees earnings double in five years that is impossible his terminal value is 7000 points and then he uses a discount rate and another difference is i don't calculate the present value of the earnings just the dividends that i'm paid out because this goes into buybacks this goes into earnings growth so he counts things twice so that's the difference between me and the modern i'm much more conservative and you don't get on cnbc by describing reality which is what we do